Hey, Fragrance Family, I'm Dave. I'm Jer. And we're the Fragrance, Fragrance Bros. Bros. Coming back to this time again with another Subscriber's Choice Fragrance Review. This time on Incense Jai Salmer by Comme des Garçons. Uh, date introduced is 2002. That's actually a long time ago. 11 years, yo. Wow. I thought it was newer than that. Dude. Comme des Garçons. <clears throat> Classified as an Oriental Woody. Notes are cardamom, incense, cinnamon, amber, benzoin, chili pepper, uh, guayac wood, and ebony. Ebony. And uh, <laughs> Weird. Now, what'd you get out of longevity out of this? It, it actually kind of bummed me out a little bit. It was about six hours. Okay. Fleeting. Mm. I mean, six, six to eight hours isn't bad for a fragrance. Yeah. That's less than average for me. I, yeah. I usually get a lot of, you know, pretty good performance. So this was less than what I'm used to, but it's still probably average as far as the general population is concerned. Yeah, I would say it was average for me. Okay. What about projection? It's probably average, maybe less. Yeah. Really close to the skin, <clears throat> it seemed like. Yeah, I would say, I would probably say it's average for me. Okay. Um, but I, I can see, I can see how it would probably be a little closer to the skin. It's a chill fragrance, bro. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so chill, bro. <laughs> Season, I would say this is best for fall, winter, uh, day or night. Mm -hmm. And purpose, I would say this is best for casual. Totes. What does this remind you of? It reminds me a fair amount of uh, Gucci Pour Homme 1. Yeah. Um, now, not as like like a clone or anything like that. But it's got a lot of the same things going on. In Gucci Pour Homme 1, um, the main player is Incense. Yeah. And not surprisingly, Incense Jai Salmer is incense heavy, at least to me. Mm. It's got kind of a smoky, ashy kind of feel to it. And uh, so that, that's the note that I pick out the most in Jai Salmer is also the one that I pick out in Gucci Pour on one. So there's some similar, similarities there to me. However, I felt like this lasted not nearly as long as, as Gucci Pour on one. Okay. And um, I don't know. Other than that, uh, to me, there wasn't much change in the fragrance or much... Uh, you know, growth or blossoming or, or anything. It was just kind of like the scent, and the scent didn't last that long. Yeah. yeah it kind of it kind of left me wondering why this was chosen by our subscribers. Yeah. I don't know what happened. It kind of just seemed like someone was like, oh, F it, I'll put Josh Salmer up there. <laughs> and everyone was so curious. They just like, yeah, what is that? You know, so they just kept voting it up because yeah. I've never heard of this before, this review. Yeah. I've never heard of it before. And granted, I'm not real familiar with Comme de Garcon as a brand. I know they have like various lines in their house and all this stuff, so I've never heard of this one. And was stoked to see what the fuss was about, and then not so stoked after I wore it a yeah. few times. So I don't know. What do you think about it? Well, <clears throat> to give a little background, this incense series uh, was inspired by religious incense. So they have incense for like all the major religions. Okay. So they have <clears throat> they have incense for Catholicism, Orthodox uh, Christianity, um, Hinduism, Shintoism, and um, Islam. Which one is this one? This one's Hinduism. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm not very familiar with incense in general. Yeah. Especially religious incense. Mm -hmm. But um, this actually brings up an interesting point about incense is that whenever we talk about incense, mm -hmm. incense is a style of fragrance and not like one particular note. Yeah. Because there's there's so many different types of incense. As you know, Comme de Garçon is explaining in this series, mm -hmm. all of these smell different. Yeah. Uh, and all of these are incense-based fragrances. And so when people say, say, you know, some people say, oh, it has incense in it. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it has incense in it, but there's a lot of different types of incense. Mm -hmm. Incense is like a genre yeah. of things. So a lot of things fit within the incense uh, category. You're like saying wood. It has wood in exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. 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 What kind of wood? Yeah. What kind of incense? Mm -hmm. uh, this particular incense uh, does remind me of some incense notes that I have smelled before. Mm -hmm. Um, particularly in, there's an Armani one, uh, I forgot what it was called, Incense something, that Dan actually sent me a, a sample of, and mm -hmm. it, smelled, it smelled really good. It mm -hmm. reminded me of this, okay. this particular type. Um, but what this really reminds me of is when I first wore it, I immediately remembered smelling this because this smells like um, when we were making, when I was making our um, molecule uh, oh. Homemade fragrances. Yeah, because when I got the the homemade oils in the mail, mm -hmm. the package smelled exactly like this. Wow! So all of them mixed together. So oh, yeah. So what I really smell the most mm -hmm. of is Isoe Super and Ambroxan, mm -hmm. and that makes me think that you know this this the note lineup 
might not be completely, you know, it, it's it's not exactly explaining the ingredients, mm -hmm. and that's common for fragrances. Yeah. They're they're kind of explaining what uh, what they smell from molecules. Mo a molecule might not smell like one thing; it might smell like three things, mm -hmm. and then you combine it, it smells like you know one thing or th five things. Yeah. So it's complicated. So uh, I really smell um, Isoe Super and Ambroxan. Now it doesn't say ambroxan in here, mm. um, or it doesn't say ambergris in the notes. It says amber. But I think they're they're meaning ambergris, mm. uh, and so by way of ambroxan, because mm -hmm. ambroxan is a synthetic version of ambergris. Okay. Um, so that's what I smell in this. I smell a lot of that actually. Yeah. Uh, I get a lot of pepper. Yeah. And spice and a little bit of greenness and sweetness. Mm. Sweetness is from the ambroxan. It's very woody and it's very dry. And it's smoky without smelling a lot, like like a lot of smoke. Okay. Um, and with a lot of incense-based fragrances, I think they skew manly a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And I think that is this case too. I think it smells more manly than it does unisex or you know even feminine. I think it, yeah. Yeah. Um, a man would be more confident wearing this. I think. Okay. I think this is an okay fragrance. I, I don't think I love it. Mm -hmm. um, but and. Um, I think it's hard to wear. I think it'd be hard to find an occasion to wear. I think yeah. it'd be hard to wear in general. Yeah, I feel the same way about Gucci Pour on one. I never know where to put yeah. that on. It's weird. Yeah. Bang for buck, this is eighty dollars for a fifty mil. That's actually pretty steep for <laughs> for what for what you're getting. Wow. Yeah. And on top of that, it's kind of hard to find, mm. and uh, even harder to find a discount on. Yeah. And it's one of those. It's not. It's. It's not necessarily niche, in terms of in terms of like the quality that people associate with niche. Mm -hmm. It is kind of niche as far as the accessibility yeah. of niche. So it's in this weird uh, no man's land of yeah. you don't know what it is, you can't find it. Yeah. You don't know if you want to spend that much on it. Right. You so, can't sample it really anywhere. Yeah. It's weird. Odd. Yes. Now what about compliments? Uh, no. No one noticed it. Yeah. Stephanie said nothing. Kind of like with uh, Red vetiver just had nothing to say about it, which is it is what it is. Yeah, you know that's usually not a good sign for me because she normally has something to say. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really get any comments mm -hmm. on it either, except for my wife, of course. My wife hated it; thought mm -hmm. it was gross. I can see that. I can see that for yeah. a woman. I can get that. Uh, final rating. I'm gonna give this a two out of five. Okay. I really, I hate to be so low on it, but uh, it, you know. It doesn't do anything for me. Like I, mm. I feel like there are other fragrances that do this better, and it's just kind of—I don't know. I, I just felt very unimpressed by it. It's yeah. kind of like I wore it and it was gone. The performance is lower than what I'm used to, and the scent wasn't particularly amazing. I just felt kind of meh. yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a three out of five. I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was bad at all. Mm -hmm. There are things I really kind of like about it. Um, I do like the. You know, as, if you're an incense lover, I think you're going to really like it. Yeah. Um, I like incense, but I don't love it. So there's yeah. another reason why I'm only giving this a three. It's not yeah. a bad fragrance, um, but it's just incense. Yeah. So. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. That's what you're getting. So. Yeah. What do you think? Do you like it, love it, hate it? Let us know down in the comments down below. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like down below. We'll love you for it. And we'll see you next week with another fragrance review for the Fragrance Brothers. Bye. Bye.